Hey there, friends. It is me, Mike Harmon, or HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun lesson in Tinkercad that's also going to combine with the Glowforge. So let's get cracking. Step one is to click Create New Design. Next, I'm going to name it. I'm going to put CB for Cardboard Car and my initials. You can have a ton of fun with this project. You don't have to measure. You can just create. I'm going to try and build a car that's 10 centimeters long, and I'm going to start by using the scribble command. Each one of these boxes is a centimeter long, so there are not even 10 to build with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it when I'm done. It's hard to draw a straight line. Just do as good as you can or whatever you want. This is going to be the front of my car. And then I'm going to make a windshield. I'm going to come back. I'm going to swoop it down, I'm going to bring it back, and then I want some sort of um, fairing on the back as well. Bring that in, and I'm going to sweep this back out, give it a little bump on the bumper, and then round that out. Now I want this all filled in initially, so I'm going to use the cool fill tool. If you just sweep around your shape close to the outlines, it'll do a good job of filling in the area that you select. If you ever don't like what you do, just do undo. I actually like how that uh, swept off that corner, so I'm gonna keep it. And then I'm just gonna repeat the process here. This one's easy because it's straight. I still could have done it better, but you just grab the ones when you're done to finish it out. I missed a second time. It is so easy. I'm just in a hurry. I was going to cut out this window, and I'll show you how to do that after I fill it in. It looked pretty sweet the way it was, but this is the cutout tool. Same trick. I'm going to just sweep across, come on up, and let go when I'm happy. If you want to cut out a headlight, you can do that as well. If you wanted to put a door handle, you can do that as well. It's all up to you what you want to do from there on out. So I'm going to call that the design I want. When I hit done, it drops into my project. If we click and check its length, see how it's 84? If I type 100, it'll stretch it in that direction. And then I'm going to take this direction, and I'm going to stretch it up as well. So my car is about 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters. And then I'm working with cardboard that is 4 millimeters thick. So I'm going to make a 4 millimeter thick template. This is going to be the outside on the right and the left. I'm going to do Control D. And I'm going to use this piece to make it look like the middle of my car has an empty place for the people to sit. So I'm going to double click to edit it. And then I'm going to go back to that eraser tool, and I'm just going to erase out where the people would sit. And just because I think it'll look interesting, I'm going to draw in a seat. So there's where it connects to the floor. There's where it goes a little bit above. And then I'm going to have it slope back just a little bit. So there will be a seat inside my car as well. I think I'll even add a little steering wheel. Now it won't be round, but it'll still look pretty neat. And shoot, while I'm at it, a gas pedal. May end up looking silly, but it's still kind of fun. And the beauty of this is I'm working with cardboard, so it doesn't really matter because it's a cheap component. Speaking of cheap materials, I am making axles out of straws. And the straws are 4 millimeters around. So I'm going to use this trick. I'm going to hold shift, shrink a little. Once I do that, if I type 4 millimeters or 4, it shrinks everything to the 4 millimeter mark. I want to make sure that my axles are lined up. So I'm going to grab these two shapes and I'm going to do the left align button. And I'm going to do the center button. I'm going to take one of the shapes, I don't care which, lift it up really, really high, and then I'm going to type the number 4 because I know I want it to be really 4 millimeters high so they're nice and stacked. Let's return to our cute little 4 millimeter axle, 
and let's do control D to duplicate another one. Once again, I'm lifting one of them wackadoodle high and changing it to four high. I'm gonna take those two parts and duplicate them. And then I'm gonna use the arrow keys to move them across to where I wanna put my wheels. So I just held the arrow down. I'm lining it up left and right till I'm happy. And then I'm keeping track here. I want mine a little lower, so I'm gonna go one, two clicks lower. And that way when I grab these two wheels, I'm gonna go two clicks lower to start out. And then I'm gonna move those wheels to where I want them on the front of the car. We're gonna put those pieces together by clicking the first axle hole, holding down shift, clicking the second axle hole, because it's easier to do the little pieces, then click the body of the car so you have all three shapes and click group. When those have cut out, hit hide so it's out of your way. And this one, you can grab really easy and just group those three from the get-go. Grab your groovy show all button, move your two pieces of car so they're separate, hit D to drop it to the bottom level, you have all of a sudden got your car designed. I'm gonna line them up on the left just cause I kinda like it like that. And all you do is select a line and then click that button on the end so that they're lined up and the holes look the way they should. Real quickly, let's make some wheels with the cylinder. When you bring that cylinder out, once again, I'm gonna shrink it a little and just type 16 so it all moves to the same size all at once. As before, you might as well make them four millimeters thick. And then it is real important to change the number of sides to 64 so they are round. We need to cut a hole for the straw. Once again, hold down one, shift while you stretch one corner, type the number four, and they'll be lined up just dandy. Grab both of them, notice it says two shapes, click a line, a line, and a line. And then when you group those parts together, you will have your first wheel. As you can see, I duplicated my wheels and I'm also trying to design a little hubcap. I'm gonna try and build a hubcap. Uh, I already used this one and my settings were too hot and the size was too small. So I'm gonna adjust it so that this outside hubcap piece is eight. Let's zoom in so we can see that adjustment better. Click that height choice, change it to four, press enter. Double check my two parts to make sure they're aligned. And then I need to make sure I save these hubcaps as a totally separate part because the settings to cut out a small delicate piece like this are different than cutting out the entire project. Let's zoom back out so we can see everything and let's do those exports. I'm gonna click on the inside of my car. Notice that's where the seat is. Export, and I'm gonna do a SVG for laser cutting. If you're in my room, remember it is desktop MT tools STL files for saving. It's CBCAR MDH, and I'm gonna put shift in because this one was the inside. I'm gonna click on the body. I'm gonna do export for it, making sure that I have just the selected shape once again as an SVG, and this one is gonna be underscore O for outside. It would have been pretty cool if I would have made another one of these that had an empty space in the middle so I could have made bucket seats and I could have also erased my steering wheel so it only showed up on one side. But those are the things I want you to do in this awesome challenge. I'm gonna do all four wheels as one piece. So notice I'm grabbing all four, making sure it says selected shapes. There's my export SVG. And this one, we're gonna save as dash wheels or dash WH. And then I'm gonna try this tiny little hub. I'm only gonna print one of these because I don't wanna have any issues uh, with my settings. So I'm gonna just be real careful as I make that on the Glowforge. And that's gonna be shift hub. Always good to have your stuff labeled so it's easier when you bring it to the Glowforge. Okay, so let's jump into the Glowforge app. If you're in my classroom, you'll have to find your parts in that student Harmon folder that I've given you in the desktop. And we're gonna simply add all these pieces. I'm gonna start with the inside. 
And when it arrives, I am going to set its settings to my Magic 3 250 for cutting 4 millimeter cardboard. You can double check your own settings on your own, and then I'm gonna copy several of those because I want four of the inside of my car. This again is where it would have been real cool if I'd have made a couple without the seats. So that way it would have looked like there was a seat and then a gap between them. Now I've got those four aligned and I'm gonna bring in the rest of my parts. You can see I've got my wheels in here now and I've arranged my other parts as efficient as possible. I'm gonna have the wheels also do that 3, 4, 200, but I'm gonna adjust their settings because I believe they can cut out in two passes. And then the last but not least, I'm gonna bring in those hubs. And I'm only printing one of those. And I'm gonna have to zoom in to place him. And that involves using the hand so I can actually see him, switching back to the place tool. And then the tricky part is you gotta find somewhere to grab it. I like to click away and then just grab from the get-go so they grab easily. And for that one, his settings, I'm gonna do that same 3, 490, but I'm gonna change it to just one cut because I find that these cut so fast that quite often they don't work. And I'm also gonna drop the power back to, well, you know what, I'm gonna change it to 40% from the get-go and I'm gonna do two passes. I'm gonna try that instead. So that way it just doesn't burn up the whole hub. With that all set, I'm gonna select my material. Once again, I am just using cardboard. So I'm gonna put in my four millimeter cardboard, hit submit, and send it to the Glowforge. Everybody's favorite part, hitting that magic button. Alrighty friends, so here is my little hot glued car. You can see that the wheels spin, still working on the hubcaps, but so far it's turning out pretty darn sweet. And what I love most is as a challenge, there is so much room for you to make something way more epic than me. So hey friends, thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please hit that like button. If you have a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. Last but not least, Hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.